very similar thick area on Arethusa for a day or two, and Chris says it's almost like they're hiding. Well, I think they got... Huh, they're hiding from a hiding. I think they got given a hiding by um, the Torchwood Pride, and that's what's causing them to be here, because at this time of the year, they would preferably want to be on the basalt plains of Buffalo's Hook, uh, where all the zebra and uh, wildebeest and buffalo are at the moment. So I think the bigger female pride have chased them here to the south. So they are hiding to a bit. And also must remember we've had a lot of movement with the Matimbas up and down and around and Birmingham's chasing them. And so there's been a lot of male anarchy as well. So that's why they've uh, probably a bit nervous at the moment. You can see there's a nice bite on her bottom. Um, and it's heating up quite nicely now, but they definitely look like they've been in a, in a bit of a box up with another set of lions. And with cubs of this age, they're probably erring on the side of caution. So there we go. Alyssa's wondering, how do the lion prides get their names? Well, a lot of these prides have had names for a very long time, Alyssa. Um, it'll generally be the guide who first saw them. So the Nkoma pride is named after a brown ivory tree. And the first time they were seen was under a brown ivory tree in Buffalo's Hook. And at a place called Brown Ivory Clearing because the only prominent tree there is an Inkahuma tree. So Inkahuma is the Shangan for Brown Ivory. The Styx Pride, I'm not quite sure where they got their name from, but the Styx Pride existed in the early 2000s um, when I first came and started working in the Sabi Sands. Um, I presume it's got something to do with the River Styx. Dave, do you know what the River Styx is? No. Nope. Dave, we need to give you some books to read. So the River Styx is um, the route to Hades, and there used to be a very big pride that was very good at killing things. So I think there might be the River Styx sending you to hell. So I think that's the original uh, where the Styx pride got their names. Uh, other than that, most prides are generally named after an area that they spend a lot of time in. So the Tsalala pride is named after Tsalala Pan, uh, which is in Londolozi. And a Tsalala tree is actually a gardenia, but they used to spend a lot of time around that area. The Mangen pride, which is a, a break off from the Tsalala pride, is spends a lot of time in the Mangen river system, which is also to the south of us. Um, male coalitions, I'm not, quite, uh, I'm not quite sure who named the Majingalans. Uh, the Mapojo. again, I'm not quite sure who named them. But so either it's where they found or... A characteristic of the prime, but normally the area that they're, they're most frequently seen in. So I'm hoping they're going to get moving, but uh, I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I decide whether I think they're going to be flat cats or mobile cats. But while we do that, uh, let's go see Steph, who's got something even taller than me.